For those of you who actually did watch and pay attention to yesterday's video, you know why I'm showing you this image. This is the older of two t-shirts I have. You can see the, the ink is cracking. It's kind of a goldish print on a dark navy blue um, shirt. I saw this in a shop in Oregon, a little shop in Jacksonville, Oregon, a little dinky town like Julian uh, that's got a historic feel to it. And I just bought it because it was perfect. Yeah, yeah, yeah. It's just a quick sketch that someone made, but it conveys the meaning. You know, it makes a declaration. So when I told you that guy asked me if I'm a half full kind of guy, uh, and I said I've even got the t-shirt, well, yeah, I got two. Uh, so I'm wearing one. This is the other one. And why am I showing you this? Well, besides telling you I would yesterday, the message from yesterday about doing something right. Um, yesterday, as in Wednesday, today is still Wednesday for me. But did you do what was right yesterday? You know, before, during, and after the lockdown? And this why or why not? You have choices. The choices you make make the person you are and you'll become. It's so much more enriching to stop making the same silly mistakes that a lot of teenagers make. Yesterday, the out-of-control individuals who were just howling like monkeys with their cameras, their phones held up high, filming what was happening... What is wrong with them or you if you were part of that mess? And part of that mess, I saw students, my students, not reacting to the lockout, not going lockdown, not going to classrooms, wandering around the halls afterwards. Oh, oh, we're supposed to go to class. You're supposed to do what's right. You're supposed to be responsible. Now, how does this relate to this shirt? I still believe I would not be hammering this message because the kids who do what is right, they know it. They do it. They're not perfect, but most of the time they make the right choices. I'm still trying to reach those of you who are making the same ridiculous, infantile, adolescent, childish mistakes that you've been making all year. When are you going to grow up? When do you become a responsible, contributing member of our society and not a cancer on the, the damage that's been done to our civilization by people behaving badly, by not doing the right thing? Why do you want to be part of that? And if you have any information that can help admin rectify that situation, try to correct it. And for those of you who are going, oh, you want us to snitch. You know, what a cowardly word that is. A snitch is someone who keeps themselves out of trouble by giving the authorities just enough information. And in the real world, they are the least respected people by law enforcement because the only reason they're given information is to stay out of trouble themselves. And they don't give the whole story. They just give enough to stay out of trouble. A responsible individual, a person that does what's right, steps up. When they see something's wrong, they step up and they point it out to someone who can make a difference. I have no idea if I'm getting across, but I'm going to continue because I still believe in you. I believe there's goodness in every single one of you. If you'd only unstopper it and let it out.